Have you seen this car before? If you saw some of the videos on my channel, I believe you might have already seen this car many times. Some people call this car Elantra, and some people call this car Avante. Why does this car have two names? You can find the answer from the history of this car. The original name of this car is Elantra. In the US, the size of this car is called a compact car. But in the Korean market, this car is classified as a semi midsize car. It is because in the 1980s and 1990s, Korean people like to buy bigger cars as much as they can afford. So Hyundai and other Korean car companies classify the vehicle as compact, semi midsize, midsize, semi full size, full size cars. So in Korea, Elantra is classified as a semi mid sized car. In the 1980s, the Korean economy was growing dramatically, which led Korean citizens to buy a better quality of cars rather than compact cars. However, at that time, buying Sonata or Royal was somewhat burdensome. It is because of not only the price of the vehicle, but also car tax that people had to pay since the engine size of Sonata and Royal was over 1500cc. So to satisfy the needs of middle class, Korean car companies started to put the small engine into mid-sized cars. Hyundai Stella, New Royal SQ, Kia Capital were the typical vehicles. But since those cars have a big size body compared to the size of the engine, they didn't have enough power to endure. So in 1990, Hyundai Motors made a new car which had a smaller body called Elantra. The first generation of Elantra was somewhat roundish and a little bit smaller than mid-sized cars. Even though the size of Elantra was smaller than Sonata, Hyundai Motors spent lots of effort to maintain the room space. At the time, the digital dashboard was one of the options that consumers could choose. Unlike other cars, Elantra was made a front-wheel drive by using Mitsubishi platform. The engines were also Mitsubishi 1500 and 1600cc and the gear was a 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic transmission. Because Elantra was lighter and had a better engine than other competing models, Elantra became one of the most popular models in Korea. In 1992, Elantra became the largest selling model in the Korean market. Eventually, since 1991, Hyundai Motors started to export the Elantra to North America and Australia. Until now, Elantra is one of the most popular Korean cars in worldwide. In 1993, the new Elantra was released. Compared to the former one, the appearance of the front and back side of the new Elantra was changed and was somewhat stylish. There was no difference in the interior, but Hyundai Motors added the ABS system and airbag on the driver's side and improved the engine. The sales of the new Elantra were okay worldwide, but because the name of Elantra was confused with Lotus Elan, New Elantra was sold with the name of Lantra for a long time. Later, Kia Motors, the Korean car company, bought the copyright of Elan, and Hyundai pursued M&A of Kia Motors. Thanks to that M&A, Hyundai could use the name of Elantra. In 1995, the second generation of Elantra came out with the name of Avante. The meaning of Avante is moving forward. The former version of Elantra used a Mitsubishi engine and parts, 
but from the second generation of Elantra. Most of the spare parts and designs were developed by Hyundai Motors. You cannot find a radiator on the front side, which was shocking at the time. The interior was not a big difference compared to the last model, but the CD player and airbag in the passenger seat were added. The body became a little bit bigger than the last model, which led to enough space. There were two engine sizes, 1500 and 1800cc gasoline. The transmission was 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic. Since the Avante has sensational design and remarkable durability, in December 1995, over 25,000 vehicles were sold out, and in 1996, over 192,000 vehicles were sold out. In 1998, with the new design of appearance, all new Avante was released. The difference was the front side. Between the headlamp, there were a grille which the people didn't like. The leather interior and wood finishes were added, and the lean burn engine was equipped, which made it possible to drive with 16.9 km per liter. With this Avante model, Hyundai Motors made a new model for targeting the European market, which is the i30. The third generation is called Avante XD. From this era, the car manufacturing companies started to introduce a hardware platform sharing system. And by using this Avante XD, Hyundai Motors started to release a new model. The second generation of Sportage is also one of the models used Avante XD. Unlike previous models, Avante XD became bigger and imposing. The interior was similar to the former version and had a driver-friendly structure. When you see the options, you can find heating seats in driver and passenger seats and electronic side mirrors and side airbags too. Avante XD had larger space of back seats and had armrest. The engine sizes were 1500 and 2000 cc and the transmission was the same as before. The new Avante XD came out in 2003. Ramp, bumper, and wheel design were changed. The interior design was similar to before, but some convenience functions were added. After installing an improved engine, 1600 gasoline and 1500cc diesel model were added. In 2005, the Korean government reformed the taxation system. According to the new taxation system, the standard of compact cars became from 1500cc and below to 1600cc and below. Thanks to the new tax system, consumers started to buy 1600 more than 1500cc. At the time, the new Avante XT competed with Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic. Because the Japanese car companies had a higher market share than Korean car companies, Korean companies established a low price strategy. But because of that strategy, people worldwide didn't like the image of Avante XD, except for some countries like China. From Avante HD, following video will explain for you. If you enjoyed and want to see the following video, please subscribe Arpacal channel. The next video will be uploaded soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.